We've got some breaking news now. Uh, we are getting word that that former resource officer at uh, Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, Florida, has just been arrested and charged for his actions during the response to the deadly shooting there. So let's go straight to Rosa Flores. She is our correspondent on the phone. And so Rosa, talk to me about the charges and just remind everyone his role in the aftermath of that shooting. Hey, Brooke, yes, we are learning uh, these details in real time right now. I'm actually reading in through the uh, press release that was sent out by the state attorney's office. So I'm kind of reading it with you as we go through this. Um, according to the state attorney's office, uh, former Broward Sheriff's Deputy Scott Peterson is facing 11 criminal charges, including child neglect, culpable negligence, and perjury in connection with his quote, lack of response to the February 14th, 2018 mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. Now, this is, of course, the MSD shooting that left 17 people dead and, and 17 others injured. This happened uh, in 2018 again on Valentine's Day. And according to the state attorney's office, they conducted a 14-month investigation that involved FDLE, which is the Florida Department of Law Enforcement, and the Broward Sheriff's Office, and that's how they investigated the case and how and, and, and where these charges stem from. Now, according to the state attorney's office, Peterson was arrested Tuesday, and bond was set at $102,000. He would be required to wear a GPS monitor. He, he would have to surrender his passport. He is banned from possessing any firearms while the case is pending and Brooke um, Scott Peterson probably rings a bell to a lot of our viewers because he was the resource officer who was at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas who was armed who did not go into the building where this shooting was happened we have covered this extensively we have seen video of him outside waiting um, and, and and calling other officers However, he did not go into the building, into the building where uh, Nicholas Cruz um, uh, was shooting at students. And so, um, again, this is breaking news. We're just learning about these details from the state attorney's office here in Broward County. And again, uh, former Broward Sheriff's Deputy Scott Peterson is facing 11 criminal charges, including child neglect culpable negligence and perjury in connection with the lack of response during the mass shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas. Yeah, Look. this this is the guy. Thank you so much, Rosa. He was a former Broward Sheriff's uh, deputy. Um, didn't was was really blamed. Paul Callen, our CNN legal analyst, bringing you in, blamed. I know by a, a lot of parents right down yes. there for not doing enough fast enough from stopping the shooter from killing 17 and wounding so many others um looking at the the charges child neglect culpable negligence and perjury child neglect this is you're surprised by this yeah i'm really surprised by it because you almost never see a police officer or a law enforcement person charged with child neglect in this kind of a fact pattern usually it's a parent or some kind of a custodian of a child who allows that child to be abused, say by a boyfriend or by getting access to a gun or drugs in the house. That's traditionally child neglect. Yeah. But now you have a law enforcement person who was supposed to guard the school yeah. being charged with child neglect. And by the way, in looking at the statute, technically there probably is a violation because he was in a caregiver uh, uh, position of responsibility that's item number one that has to be proven and as a result of negligence or neglect children were harmed well we know that that happens to be true yeah so even though I've never seen charges like this brought against a police official um, there may be an argument that it fits the statute and by the way he faces an enormous uh, exposure. I think it's somewhere like 90 years in prison. 96 and a half. 96 and a half years yep. in prison if he were convicted and got the maximum on all charges. So they, the, the Florida authorities, so it's been, what, 14 months since, since they started investigating, uh, talked to 184 witnesses, reviewed uh, hours and hours of video surveillance, wrote 212 investigative reports, totaling more than 800 hours 
of investigation. I mean, it just brings up bigger questions as we unfortunately cover all too many shootings like this where there are these school resource officers and it's like, what is their role? How many should there be? Should we be arming teachers? It's all part of conversations we've been having, but. And I think we also have to note that his defense and what he's saying, by the way, is that he did not act in cowardice by leaving the scene. He says that at first he thought there were fire crackers going off. Yeah. He, he stepped back so he would have a better view of the buildings, and then he thought that uh, from a, f a position farther away he could locate a sniper if there was a sniper in place. That's what he's giving as a defense. Of course, law enforcement officials are saying he should have rushed into the school and tried to protect the kids directly. I think he had said to the Today Show even when they interviewed him after the fact that he would regret this for the rest of his life. So. The investigation is on, and we talked uh, charges. Paul Callen, thank you so much for, for jumping in on that.